Nigeria received its first COVID-19 vaccines on the 2nd of March 2021 and then kicked off an inocul inoculation program. Two months down the line, it has been met with several conspiracies and uh, misinformation. Hence the need for a media roundtable tagged journalism, pandemic and vaccines. Take a listen. It has been over a year since the pandemic broke out, with Nigeria recording its first case on the 26th of February 2020. In 2021, vaccines have been rolled out across the world, with Nigeria receiving her first batch in March. The Nigerian Academy for Science held a meeting with the press to enlighten the public on the myths and misinformation about the vaccine. We meet uh, religion with and other things. No, so we practice both together. I, I think it's a level of education. Uh, it's a level of, because even some of us, Academicians still go to the gym for prayer. Yeah. Uh, and we go to the witchcraft to go and solve the other problem. <laughs> so that's where the problem is. Uh, the more you educate your people, the better you release them from doing those things. Professor Tomori Oyewale, a virologist, breaks down the numbers, looking at the efficacy of the vaccine vis a vis the people who have died. COVID 19 vaccines to take or not to take. Let me start with the conclusion. Take it. And then, and then talk in the middle about how we need, the reason why you need to take it. So please take it. So don't even start debating whether to take or not to take. So I start shooting and say take it. According to the figures we have, again, it's a little bit, uh, anyway, as, far, as of April 19, we already passed the 1 million cases, 1.8 million samples suggested. But there's nothing to be proud about that in a country of 200 million people. Just seeing one point eight million is nothing to write about. Misinformation is easily disseminated through social media, and not only religious leaders are culpable. President of the Nigerian Science Academy, Professor Ekanem Braid, encourages the public to know the difference. This man has a PhD. He's a professor. He was a vice chancellor. Therefore, he is, he is knowledgeable. Anything he says, I must take. Because education and literacy, they are different. You can be literate and have all the certificates in it, or DSC or on DSC, and keep it. And you are not educated. Because education is something that deals with the head, has to do with the head and the mind. Total education. Total education. So, you can find somebody who has all the education, they don't need to be not educated. The rest, you can find somebody who is what you are, and you speak with the person you feel is educated. This COVID has shown me that uh, some of the people that have been regarding us. <laughs> don't really know more. The lockdown may have been lifted, but we will successfully overcome the pandemic with the power of the right information. Fumi Unajefe, reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.